me see. All right, sorry, my microphone was off. All right, now I turn this on. So I think you can hear my voice now. All right, so again, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. How are you today? It's the 2nd of August, 2022 on Tuesday. So we'll check charts together with Ichimoku and see what's happening today. So I just came back home, so let me uh, yeah, set things up here. But how are you everyone? Any trades today? Looks like some pairs are active. Um, so you may be trading some pairs. But, uh, yeah, let's see what's happening today. Okay. All right, so let me switch the screen. Okay. And as a quick disclaimer, as usual, uh, basically uh, everything that I say on my YouTube channel it's basically uh, based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do add your own risks. And also, this is live. So on the chat, if you can please follow the rules, that would be great. And also recently, there are so many spams on social media. So please be careful. I don't do Telegram, Instagram, Facebook. And I never send direct messages to anyone to, through the social media. So please be careful in case it's, if you receive any... Uh, messages and accounts on one of these social medias because most likely they are a fake of mine okay so let's see let's see all right um thank you for joining let me say hi to everyone quickly because i know there are many people still along the way all right so uh win nadim thank you for joining tsm basam good to see you in a homan John, how are you? Thank you for joining. All right, Tarun, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. And Augustine, Anna Luke, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. All right. Uh, on my way, good to see you too. All right. Vinod, thank you for joining also. Good to see you here. All right, Kevin, thank you for joining also. Yeah, Peter and Akon and Mahardika and Sohan, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. All right. Um, oh, John Harris says, I traded last night based on the Australian news made some good pips. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So now let's check some charts together. Um, okay. So let me switch to trading view. So here is my trading view account. Let me just delete this message. And let me just put this on one screen. And let me unflag all the symbols and do my analysis from scratch. Okay, so looks like the JPY pairs are going down continuously. Looks like a USD JPY is going down. Let me first check this one together. So here is a USD JPY and this is a daily time frame. And as you can see, the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen are down. Chikou span below candles, and the market is about to break the Kumo. This is where the market is being holding by the Senko span B. And if you're new to Ichimoku, then uh, Senko span B is the lower part, and Senko span A is upper part of the bullish Kumo. This is actually the bullish Kumo. And the Kumo is composed of two lines, Senko span A and B. And the, the market is currently supported or uh, might be supported by the single span B and we have a pin bar here so if it closes like this like this today then the market may as a result be supported and when the market sees this pin bar tomorrow then uh, the buyers might be coming in and the market might go up this way in the short term so here uh, this is usually when I say we have to wait for the close of the candlestick. Um, so this is since this is a daily time frame, this candlestick this candlestick is gonna be closing in about seven hours from now. So if you are not trading this one USJPY, I recommend you to stay away from today and come back tomorrow after you confirm the candle close. 
So the scenario is going to be if it closes below the single span B and looks like this, for example, by the end of today, then tomorrow the sellers may follow and the market may continuously go down. So we can follow the downtrend and uh, continuously looking for the selling edge from tomorrow. However, if it closes like this, this is currently pin bar or uh, you can also call it like a doji because uh, open price and close price at the same level now and we have a very tiny body and a long wick pointing down so this means that there is a strong support in this area so if it closes like this today then um, from tomorrow most likely the market goes up but that will be in the short term and even if you see the market goes up this way uh, the market will be into within the Kumo still, so it might be choppy. So I don't still recommend you to trade, uh, even if it goes up. So I would continue looking for the sell, and uh, it, but it, that will be only if it closes below the single span B. So here today, I don't trade in this situation. I just um, keep monitoring until tomorrow. Um, and, and also, um, in terms of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, this is one of the strongest uh, reverse signal if the market breaks the single span B. That means if the market closes below the single span B, that, will, that is called a um, Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. So we had that Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen did cross earlier, and Chikou Span breakout too. So this Kimo breakout will be the third signal. And that is considered to be one of the strongest reverse signal. So in that sense, also after that, we can expect the market goes down continuously. But not for today. Not today. We can't really see which way it might go today. Um, yeah, but I can see that uh, there are strong support. Most likely, I think the market will close like this with the pin bar. So it may go up, is my view, in the short term from tomorrow. But like this, uh, let me first check the JPY pairs. So Euro JPY. Euro JPY daily chart looks good. It looks much better than the USD JPY because this is consecutively going down. And Kumo is down also. Tenkan Kijun Sen are down. Chikou Span below candles. So this is stable downtrend. Um, so in this case, I picked the uh, Euro JPY, then USD JPY, and keep holding until the market reaches down to here, um, 132.64. That will be the potential target if I sell right now. There is a um, nice um, double top and a neckline. Well, actually, double top and plus reversed in a wave and the support has been broken bearish so now this is going down yeah the JPY looks like it's con continuously uh, strong so it's uh, and also weak euro today it's going down right now so that's the euro JPY and um, so let me check also pound JPY. I know lots of traders, lots of uh, people here trade also pound JPY. Uh, and but this is near the support. We have uh, two supports here and here. So this was the uh, 16th of June and also 6th of July. There were two supports, and the market is market close prices near the, the near these supports. So in this case, I, I will wait until the market breaks the, um, this uh, lower support, which is a 159.87 level. And after that, I look for the selling edge. Right now, I don't sell because it may be supported and retrace. And when it retraces, usually the market retraces back to Tenkan Sen when Tenkan Sen is down. So that will be the potential target if you want to buy right now. But for me, I don't really buy just because the price is near the support. Sometimes it breaks the support and continuously go down. 
So I prefer to wait for the close becomes below the support and sell look for the sell selling edge afterwards. So so far among the JPY pairs, Euro JPY looks the best to trade. But um let me check some other JPY pairs. Uh, next one I want to take a look at is uh, AUDJPY. So AUDJPY is also looking good because it, it's breaking the support. Support level from the 1st of July, which is 91.41. And most likely closes below the support. So AUDJPY is also good. Let me put the flag on the AUDJPY and also EURJPY. Because these are two good pairs to look at today. So if it closes below the support, most likely it will. And the market goes down to the previous support. I think the market goes down to at least here. 89.02. And that's, um, a, big, that's a lot of pips here. About uh, 185 pips down. That will be the potential target. Okay, so yeah, so first let me just do this overall analysis and then I think I will break it down to the lower time frames on these two pairs. But before that, let me also check the, the other JPY pairs, which is uh, CAGJPY first. Okay, CAGJPY uh, broke the Kumo, which is good, but uh, if you look at this Tenkan Kijun Sen, they are overlapping. I'm talking about this uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen here. The blue one is uh, called the Tenkan Sen. And green one is called the Kijun Sen in my color setting. And uh, you see the th these lines are exactly uh, together. So when you see this, these lines together, uh, this shows this is strong downtrend in a short to mid term because Tenkan Sen shows a short term and Kijun Sen represents the mid term market momentum so when short term mid term both pointing down together along with the lines that means this is overshooting from short to mid term so that means the market may retrace the market may retrace um, so in this reason i don't feel confident to sell here although there's a comma break i don't feel confident plus there's a previous support from the 16th of June, which is 101.63. So, yeah, and there are a couple of uh, previous resistances here too. So, the market may be supported this time. So, CAGJPY does not really good, look good to me to sell. So, yeah, I think I will for now focus on the Euro JPY and AUD JPY. I think these two pairs are the best so far. And then finally, let me check the Swiss franc JPY. Swiss franc JPY is looking good also because it broke the support yesterday. And today, it's continuously going down. So in target is the second previous row which is a 134.01. I think this is very good. Uh, yeah, I think this is also double bottom neckline break. This is neckline of this uh, double top. Sorry, double top. So, yeah, I think this, the market is continuously going down. But one thing is that the market goes into Kumo. So that means the market can be spiky and choppy on the lower time frames. So even if you sell right now, you might hit, the, your, hit your stop loss or you have to exit after the entry and then the market may go down continuously. So yeah, when I see this, um, I prefer to take other pairs uh, that are not within the Kumo on the daily time frame. But this one is downtrend nicely, so I will just uh, mark this one also. Swiss franc JPY. This one is also good. First to look at the lower time frames. Uh, there was a previous uh, resistance here, so it may be supported. Previous resistance from uh, 
8th of June. This time it may be supported. And going into Kumo. So this is less better than AUDJPY and the EURJPY. Yeah. So that's the JPY pairs analysis. But overall, JPY pairs are going down. So at least we can uh, take some pips on downtrend on these pairs. But besides that, uh, let me check some other pairs and markets right now. Thank you for joining, everyone. Good to see you. I see all the comments. Thank you for joining. Welcome here in this live stream today i hope you're having a great day and also great trading day okay so since jpy seems to be strong today let me check all the gold because the gold might be going up also yeah gold is going up because usually gold goes along with the jpy when jpy gets stronger then gold also gets stronger and USD gets weaker is a tendency. Not always, not 100%, but that's the uh, correlation. So, but as for gold, it's going up, but the market is very close to the previous supports. That's one thing. Previous support in the, on these two supports, 1785.77. Um, so it may be resisted. In reverse so in this case again i wait for the daily time frame close comes above these supports one uh 1785.77 and when i confirm this close above then i look for the buying edge from tomorrow so today i wait i wait i'm not gonna jump in today for gold and also gold has been kind of uh choppy on the lower time frames if you look at the like one hour one hour is okay but uh i think the lower time frames are even much trickier but yeah i actually yeah one hour also shows a bit tricky because we've you've got a spike up spike down uh top of spikes in the markets this is gold so this time the market just goes up and down, reverse, I mean, bullish in wave, breaks, renew, renew higher, broke the resistance, but soon it retraced back, and then another, river, another bullish in wave, and then it broke the resistance this time again. But what may happen is, uh, what may happen might be the same as previous, these, uh, these uh, breakouts. So this time it broke, but uh, on one single candlestick, it may be resisted and retraced back to the Kijun Sen. Because every time the market retraces, it goes back to Kijun Sen, if you can notice. So, um, yeah, hold on, let me zoom out. I'm talking about these uh, Kijun Sen retrace. So every time the market breaks uh, these... Um, uh, resistances looks like it goes go, goes back to the Kijun Sen. So this time it may go down to Kijun Sen is the scenario. So yeah, let's see if it breaks. If it breaks up today, then I think from tomorrow it goes up continuously. But uh, I think. Yeah, towards the end of today, the market can retrace because it's been a pattern uh, for in this uh, on this momentum. But uh, yeah, for those who are holding gold, you don't have to exit. You just keep following it because it's up. You can put the stop loss below the Kijun Sen in one hour and keep holding. Keep holding with a swing trade. I think that's possible. Okay, so yeah, and also in terms of one hour, I can see that the Kumo flat, the Kumo Senko Span B is flat, Senko Span A is flat, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are also flat. So that means also the market may retrace. 
usually when you see these flatness on this Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, then um, that means the buyers and sellers, buyers uh, portion and sellers portion are 50 50 level. So most likely the market won't break. Because for the market to break, furthermore, buyers have to be dominant than the sellers. If they are 50 50, most likely the market reverse is, I think, my analysis. So, because of this Kumo flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat condition. So, from that reason, also, I don't, I'm not gonna jump in unless it breaks bullish furthermore. Near, near the previous supports right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Oh, Alex FX says two attempts to trade it, lost both time on gold. Okay. Yeah, gold has been very choppy uh, on the lower time frames. So you have to have um, yeah, better risk management. But uh, if if the market goes the right direction, it goes very fast and you can make profits um, in, a, in a shorter time. Because it's volatile, that's also gold. So, but as for gold, again, I recommend you to, if you buy, I recommend you to put the stop loss below the Kijun Sen in one hour. And I think it should be safe. So that's XAUUSD. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, Murdoch says, uh, your Ichimoku on default settings? Yes. My Ichimoku is in default setting. It's a uh, 9 for Tenkan Sen, 26 for Kijun Sen, Tenkan Span Beat, 52, Displacement, 26. It's all default setting. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let me check some other comments now. Thank you for joining everyone again. Good to see you on this uh, Tuesday. Tuesday uh, morning, afternoon, evening. Thank you for joining everyone from different regions. Um, okay, let's see. Lian says, oh, let me pop up. Um, Lian says, how do you think about we can trial stop loss below the Kijun Sen one hour to take profit. Um, in terms of the take profit, you can't. Uh, you have to. Uh, you have to use the different um, views about the markets, like the resistance support uh, to take profit, or you can take. You can use the uh, the price theory of Ichimoku to to capture potential target. But uh, in this case again. The market has been up by supported by this Kijun Sen. It's been a pattern in one hour gold. So, yeah, you can uh, you put the stop loss below the Kijun Sen in one hour and, um, yeah, keep following up. But uh, you want to take profit at some point, not on the Kijun Sen. Because if you take profit in the Kijun Sen, it might be uh, you you might lose lots of potential pips. Because if because uh, you, let's say if you buy here, I mean if you buy here, when you see this Doji break, and then the market goes up, breaks initially, and then retrace back, then you may end up with a break even or some loss. So instead of doing this, I recommend to take profit. When the market reaches your target, then Kijun Sen, I think that's better. Um, yeah, and also I think we can draw the, the trend line, maybe like in this. Yeah, the trend line has been also working. So uh, yeah, the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen or trend line, and then bounce and goes up this way. That's also a possible scenario in this case. 
Okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I see some requests about the Bitcoin. So let me check. So, okay. Here is the daily time frame of Bitcoin. So, like I mentioned um, a couple of days, for the last couple of days, I have been mentioning that the Bitcoin is uh, not to trade because it's in the Kumo. Again, uh, if you see the market is within the Kumo, on a daily time frame, becomes very choppy. And that's exactly what's happening on the Bitcoin. So, I say, we better wait until the market breaks 24,957.17, which is the Senkospan B on the daily time frame and also weekly Tenkan Sen. Let me switch to the weekly time frame. And this was exactly on the Tenkan Sen level. So at least you better wait for the Tenkan Sen break on the weekly or the daily Senkospan B break to look for the buying edge. Obviously, this is not a good, good, buy, good timing to buy because it may retrace back to Kijun Sen. Yeah, so that's a Bitcoin. If it is for the Forex pair, I will never trade because it might be choppy on the lower time frames. Uh, Augustine says, uh, for XAU, why don't we go down to M5 for the entry and stop loss? I think gold for M5 is too low time frame. I think you better take the 15 minute. Yeah, 15 minute than the M5 for gold. Okay, um, Dr. Um, Bavesh says, uh, any suggestion for control emotions? Um, any suggestions? Lots of suggestions to control emotions. Uh, what I do is I meditate. I just close my eyes before taking trades or before, you know, making some decisions. Close my eyes and um, just reset my mind, reset my emotion. And also, especially when you lose, uh, you better uh, stay away from the market is my also recommendation. Because if you keep trading, you might be revenge trading and you might not be following your own rules and strategies. So especially after you lose, um, you better stay away at least for one hour and come back. Uh, that's also my suggestion to control emotions. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, um, this is kind of ironic to say, but uh, we are here to trade. We are here to trade and make profits, and that's what we do. So whenever you see the opportunities, you may think that you have to take everything, every opportunity, and take trades. But uh, I don't think that's true, because I've been that before, and um, I have some struggles. Like uh, if you have, let's say, if you take this uh, Kumo break as your strategy to trade, then when you look at other pairs, when you look at any time frames, you see Kumo breakouts everywhere, and that might be confusing for you. You might th you might be happy because you see many opportunities uh, on any pairs, any any markets by this Kumo breakout, for example. Or you can also take the Chikou Span break happens on uh, in lots of markets, in lots of time frames. So you might want to take this, but um, if you take, you, you cannot, you have to remember that you cannot take all the opportunities. Sometimes, what's more, sometimes you have to let it go. So for me, sometimes, even if I see these confirmations of a trace, even I see, if I see go lower time frames and get these entry signals, I just let it go sometimes. I don't take them. I don't take all the opportunities, all the signals. And I learned this from my own experience because that contributes uh, a lot to control my emotion too. Um, this is, it actually creates some room between yourself and the markets, between your emotion and the charts. And uh, that's very, very important. 
um let's say for example for example um if i can give you one good example i'm not sure if this is good or not but for example let's say if you have a steak right if you have the steak nice sirloin steak and uh you have this in your uh in your uh in your uh, uh cooler in your uh fridge let's say you get the best steak in the world in the in the refrigerator and you're about to eat today you can eat for lunch you're happy because it's tasty tonight you eat again and you may be happy again because it's also tasty tomorrow you may eat and you may start to get bored or you might have some uh, you know stomach ache for example so and uh, so although these steaks are good you can't eat it every day it's impossible you have to kind of stay away from these uh, good food and sometimes you have to reset your uh, stomach by eating some vegetables some eating some eating some soup some other things some chicken something light then you can enjoy the um, tasty steak again and I think it's same, very much the same uh, for me at least about the signals. I don't take every signal, I don't take all the confirmations, and sometimes I just let it go, although there is a confirmation. And what happens to me is that, uh, like, uh, after I let it go, let's say the market goes towards my direction without my positions, let's say it goes. But I feel good because I was right. So next time when I take trades, I will be right. I can have the confidence. I don't feel like I lost these pips. Um, and then what happened is that, let's say you didn't take a trade with a signal and the market goes backwards. And you're happy too because you didn't take that and you didn't have any losses. So you're happy both ways if you didn't take any trades. And I think that's the happy mindset. That's, the, that, that's where the calmness comes from. So, um, yeah, especially when you start to lose, when you lose consecutively, like uh, twice, three times consecutive, then I recommend you to let it go. Let the signals go and don't take it, but just confirm the signal, just monitor charts, check charts, confirm the signals, and you see the, you see the confirmation, and then simply let it go and see how it goes. Uh, that's also uh, how I trained my own emotion. That's one way to control your emotion. Um, yeah, uh, I hope uh, I gave you a good example for this. I hope I get the idea of what I say. But uh, yeah, you can uh, you can learn to let it go. Then you will you will get more actually. Yeah, sometimes, you know, less is more. Especially if you look back the month of uh, July, the market was choppy, so many fake outs. And in the month of uh, May also, I remember it was a bit difficult, kind of choppy. So, um, you know, sometimes less is more. Um, so, yeah, remember that you don't have to take all these opportunities because markets are moving every day. With, with or without you every day anyways so whenever time is right you can just come back and just take trace or simply let it go learn to let it go i think that's more important uh, in average every month i take less than 10 trace i think i take uh, eight or seven sometimes i only take a few trace but I still make some profits. I, my, my returns are positive uh, almost every month. And that's because I know how to let it go. I know, I know which one not to take it. And this also comes from my own experience. It's kind of difficult to say exactly, okay, exactly in this condition you let it go, in this condition you take trace. Uh, it's not like that black and white answer. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, Kind of, uh, it's not like rigid or solid, uh, black and white. 
or uh, Hayes and Tail. It's not like that. But uh, by letting go, these uh, entry timings, I think you will know what exactly I mean. Yeah. Sorry if it sounds like a kind of a complex or a, like a ironical statement, but I think it's true. So uh, I just wanted to share it today. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so coming back to Bitcoin, the market is exactly into Kumo now, so I don't take a trade. I simply uh, wait until the market breaks. The single span B on the daily time frame is my recommendation. It's going down. It, it actually touched the Tenkan Sen, so it may go down to Kijun Sen. So, yeah, that's my analysis for the Bitcoin. Yeah, so let's see. Okay, um, Bowen says, uh, do you have any recommend when can I start the real account? Uh, you can start the real account after, uh, I would say after three months of uh, being profitable in the demo account. Or you can uh, run the tester, Forex tester, just like I do. And uh, you can take uh, at least 100 trays. And out of 100 trays, if your uh, PF, profit factor, is above 3, ideally 5, then you can cut the trade real. And then it should be fine. So it's not about, it's not about how many months, how many years, or how many days you take trades. You learn. It's not related to that. It relates to your performance. Okay. Oh, I had two losses on Euro JPY and UCJPY today. Okay, so that means it's uh, it's time to be away from the charts today. Most likely the charts might be tricky for you. So you better stay away and come back tomorrow. And yeah, that's also what I do too. Like if I have uh, consecutive losses, I usually uh, stay away. Especially when I found my emotion is still a bit, uh, you know, uh, upset or uh, still aggressive, then I will, I intentionally stay away from the charts after these losses. Okay, um, TSM says um, gold, gold cross, oh, gold cross, gold cross in monthly Bitcoin. Tenkan Sen, hold on, monthly Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Death Cross, yeah. Uh, this, the the Death Cross above Kumo means that this is the end of uptrend. But it doesn't mean that the market goes down. So just be careful. You can't trust this Death Cross above Kumo. If Death Cross happens below Kumo, that's trustable to continuously down. But the monthly... I mean, uh, dead cross above Kumo does not really mean that the market goes goes down. You better wait for that Chikol Span break. If you see that Chikol Span break, then that's the confirmation for downtrend. But since this is monthly chart, it may take a couple of months or a couple of years uh, to for this to happen, for this uh, Chikol Span break to happen. Okay, let's see. Is it a sequence M30 goes flat, one hour follows, four hour is up or down? Um, yeah, usually the trend starts from the lower time frames. So if 30 goes flat, then one hour um, will go flat, and then higher time frames will go usually go flat. Or if 30 minute chart retraces, then one hour starts to retrace, and four hour retraces if the market keeps retracing. So always the market tends to follow the higher time frame direct higher time frame directions, but uh, when it comes to reversal, 
it starts, it happens from the lower time frames, not from the higher time frames. Yeah, and that's the reason why whenever I look for the exit timings, I take I take the lower time frames. I never take the higher time frames for the exit timings. Because uh, we can't I can't really capture exact uh, reverse reversal on the higher time frames. Okay, yeah, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. I see all these comments now. Uh, Patriot says, uh, Trading time, my mind is very aggressive, but don't control again trade, so my loss, my trade, please help me. Oh, so you better stay away, is my recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, you can take some uh, days off. Like, uh, you can take some, uh, let's say, like a uh, couple of days, maybe two days, three days off completely. And come back you can take a week off from the trades from the markets and then come back so that you can feel fresh yeah but at some point we have to refresh our mindset yeah Mahardika you're welcome yeah let it go I think is the very key to success especially these trades the market's moving every day, every minute, and that's why we have FOMO. Yeah, if we have FOMO, we have uh, we have uh, like pain when when the market goes towards uh, your direction without your positions. You may feel, you know, stressed or uh, frustrated, but uh, you can just let it go. Then. Things should be fine. Yeah, let's see. So let me check some of the pairs. Uh, I see CADC is rank. Let me check. Uh, daily time frame. It's uh, okay. It's going down to the support. That's one thing. Support level is 0 0.7357. It's going down. There is a Tenkan Kijun Dead Cross. This is good. This is. Relatively trustable. Tenkan Kijun did cross below Kumo. Not above, but below the Kumo. This is this is good. So we have to wait for the Chikol Span breakout. Chikol Span breakout means Chikol Span below candles. And then prepare to sell. If Chikol Span breakout happens above the support, um, and also 4 hour, if 4 hour goes point down, then I will already take a sell before the break, before the support level break. But uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah because of this dead cross below Kumo, the market may go down. Is my view. I think it may break the support. In this case. Okay. Um, okay. Let me see. Can you please make a video on scalping with the Ichimoku strategy? Um, because I don't scalp, I can't make any videos about scalping by Ichimoku. Yeah, because I only day trade or swing trade, and I don't really scalp. I I used to scalp before, but I was using completely different strategy. I was using moving averages and MACD, RSI, some other, some other tools. So, yeah, I never scalp by Ichimoku. Let me see. Let me check quickly some other pairs. Euro USD is going up to Kijun Sen now. So, yeah. This might be range continuously. Let's see. Euro AUD was exactly resisted by this Tenkan Sen. So, this is still bearish. It may go down. But again, I wait for the support level breakout. 1.4511 breakout. Continuously stay away. Uh, Euro pound looks good. Euro pound, uh, I think uh, it's about to break the support. I will continuously monitor this one. And uh, if it breaks, I look for the setting edge. So Euro pound looks good. And let's see. Euro C80 is range. Uh, Euro C franc is uh, it's bearish. 
because Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. So it may break support, but I wait for the support level break again. Clearly, close becomes below the support and prepare to sell. Euro CAD actually, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down too. But if you look at this price, if, if you look at this market, it's been a bit ranging. So, and since, uh, yeah, this this might become a double double bottom. It may go up continuously. So, um, yeah, from this reason, I think I will just stay away. USDJPY is going down, but you have to wait for the Kumo break to confirm. Yeah. I think uh, looks like the other pairs are a bit ranging on the daily time frame. So the pound JPY is very close to support. It's actually on the support, so we have to wait for the wait for the break of the support. Wow, pound AUD is so strong today. Let me see how many pips it went up. Wow, it went up to like a 180 pips. It went up to like over 200 pips today. Wow, pound AUD is so strong today. But uh, since daily is range, the market may reverse back anytime. So this might become a bit overshooting, overbought. Pound Swiss front range, AUD USD is racing. So looks like AUD is uh, pretty weak today. Yeah, and that's why AUD JPY is going down too. So for AUD JPY also, again, we have to wait for the close becomes below the support. So I think I will just come back tomorrow. And CAD JPY also. This is a pin bar, so it may reverse. Not the best timing to sell. Yeah. Did I cover USDJP? Oh, yeah. USDJPY is. Yeah. It's a doji in bar. Um, and this is how it looks like in the four hour chart. Four hour chart had this um, doji with the engulfing inside bar. This is a typical one of a typical retracement patterns. So, most likely, close is above the previous. Um, inside bar resistance. If it closes above the resistance and above the Tenkan Sen, then it may go up to a four-hour Kijun Sen. So that's the, another strategy you can take. Uh, you can take this uh, reverse reversal to the four-hour Kijun Sen. Yeah, that's possible. Okay. Oh, but Sam, thank you for uh, the, your reminder for the like button. So, if you like this up, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great. Thanks so much. Let's see. Homan says, if you just follow the daily time frame, do you think you still have enough profits? Yeah, I usually follow the daily or the four hour time frames. And I make enough profits every month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, UJ is like this. It may be traced back to the Kijun Sen. Okay, any thoughts on wheat or coffee? Um, I'm not really sure what's happening on these markets because I don't really follow. But I think I have these charts. Let me see. I am actually into Forex mainly. And I don't really look at other uh, commodities. But it uh, looks like... Uh, I can, so I can only tell about a technical analysis by these commodities based on Ichimoku. So wheat has been ranging right now, but looks like seller is dominant because the Senko span A is down, Kijun Sen down on the daily, and Chikou span below candles. So it may break support. 
he may break the support level of um, 753.90. Yeah, but it looks like it's been a bit range. Yeah, so let's see. Kijun Sen will oh Kijun Sen will be flat tomorrow. And the day after, Kijun Sen will remain flat. So that means I think the market continue to be range. Okay. Hello Daryl, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by and say hi. Okay, so that's the Ichimoku analysis for the wheat. Okay, so I think uh, I will be finishing live in about a few minutes. But uh, again, thank you for joining. Thank you for uh, yeah, coming to my live stream. So I'm back here in Dubai now. So I can finally do some lives. Yeah. Yeah, when I travel, especially when I travel Japan, I realize that it's hard, so hard to trade, so hard to sit down and, you know, analyze and focus and analyze trades. Because, uh, yeah, I have so many places to visit, especially this time, the first time. Uh, yeah, it was difficult to trade, difficult to also live streams. But, uh, it was good. It was a nice trip, amazing trip. I just uploaded uh, another video yesterday about the yakiniku, barbecue yakiniku, on my second channel. So if you haven't checked that yet, please uh, watch because I think it's kind of interesting to to see how uh, yakiniku place uh, looks like and how they serve some food or meat in uh, the yakiniku place in Japan. So. Yeah, I so much enjoy the food, so much enjoy town and all these hospitalities. I realized that the hospitalities are so good. I reconfirmed it. But uh, yeah, I think it was a nice trip. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, today, I think after this, that will be Ichimoku membership, community membership live. In about uh, 10 minutes or 7 minutes. And after that, most likely I will be relaxed. I think I will probably screen charts once. But without taking trades, I just check charts. And probably just enjoy the rest of the day. Because I I took uh, I took some kind of... I took kind of like a short sleep last night. Uh, slept only maybe like uh, 4 hours or 5 hours relatively shorter than usual so I think I will go to bed earlier than usual today but anyways um, thank you for uh, stopping by and joining here I really enjoy your comments also yeah so thank you for uh, uh, being so uh, being so uh, how do you say like uh, nice on these comments I really appreciate because uh, I know we are all, he all here to learn and I don't want to waste anybody's time uh, in this live stream because uh, I know you're also busy and you take time and come to my live streams. So um, I don't want to uh, waste anybody's time. So yeah, thank you for uh, again uh, continuously being so nice on, on the chat. And uh, I will try my best continuously to uh, share what I, uh, what I see, what I feel about the markets by Ichimoku. So I hope you have a great rest of the day. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.